The superior characteristics of the followers of Hazrat Mahdi, alayhi salam, part 5. Most people will shun Hazrat Mahdi, alayhi salam, and his followers. One hadith refers to the great majority of people failing to properly appreciate the faith of Hazrat Mahdi, alayhi salam, and his followers. They strive on Allah's path and the proud despise them. Their worth is unknown in this world, but they will be recognized in the hereafter. Hazrat Mahdi's salam, community will be exposed to many slanders, troubles, and difficulties. The great majority of people, afraid of their own interests being affected, will therefore shun Hazrat Mahdi salam, and his followers. He said, Look for them at the edges of the world. Their lives are simple, their homes are on their backs. Even if present, they are not recognized. If they are lost, none will look for them. If they are sick, none will visit them. And if they wish to marry, none will come to them. If they die, none will attend their funerals. They share their possessions equally among them and visit one another's graves. Their wishes are all the same, even if they are in different cities. From our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Look for them at the edges of the world Their lives are simple, their homes are on their backs Here today, gone tomorrow They never stay in one place They go all over the world They visit one another's homes Even if present, they are not recognized People wonder who they are, but they do not recognize them If they are lost, none will look for them Nobody will look for them as they are not at all valued and they say that is better for them. If they are sick, none will visit them. Nobody will have any dealings with them. If they wish to marry, none will come to them. They will warn people off from marrying them, saying one would have to be mad to do so, that it will only end in trouble. Don't even think about it, they will say. Who says they will not Kim marry? Our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Nobody will want to marry the followers of Hazrat Mahdi Alaihi Wasallam as they regard them as dangerous. They will conflict with their earthly, worldly interests. They will shun them for fear of the future. If they wish to marry, none will come to them. If they die, none will attend their funerals. Best not to go to the funeral in case we are seen there and recognized and end up with a bad name, they will say. They share their possessions equally among them. If one has a house, he will sell it so they can share the proceeds, or if he has a car, he will suggest they share it. If he has a house, he will spend the money from it on Allah's path. This car is not mine, he will say, it belongs to Allah. I will give it up for Allah's sake, so use it. My home, use it as your own. They have no greed for possessions. Yet what the way of the Dajjal will most encourage in the end times is greed for worldly goods. That is absent from the followers of Hazrat Mahdi alayhi salam. They visit one another's graves. This means that some of them will die and they will visit their graves. Their wishes are all the same, even if they are in different cities. It will not seem as if they are separated, though one lives in Baghdad, for instance, and another somewhere else.